Hey everyone, this is Eliminati from the Discord Bot Maker Gamers Dev Group, and today we're going to work on a shop and money system that you can create within Discord Bot Maker. Uh, so to get started, uh, let's go ahead and first create a um, a few things here. First, uh, if you notice, I've created a divider here to kind of keep the previous commands that we've done uh, separated. Uh, you can see here, this is the command to use regular HTML cell uh, codes. Uh, you can get the paste bin for this small little script and just put it in a command name and it'll show up here. So if you wanted to change the uh, labels to, uh, let's say, orange, and it'll change it to orange. But let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is first create a, a command. Um, let's go ahead and name it um, money, just for for the sake of it. Or let's uh, let's put it balance. All right. So for the uh, very first thing we're going to do is we're going to store a uh, member variable this is going to hold the current balance that the user has so we'll go here we'll go to uh, store amount of data and we're going to select the member to be the command offer and for the data name we're going to put in money and the default value if it doesn't exist we're going to put it as we're just going to leave it at zero uh, for the moment, we're gonna. I'm gonna explain that later on with the uh, process of this, of um, this money system, uh, which is gonna include an account number creation. Of course, you can add on to it and you know tweak it to to uh, to your usage for for your server. But okay, so uh, moving on, we uh, named the data name money, and the default value we're gonna leave at zero. And the store in, we're gonna leave it as a temporary and just put current balance. And click on create action. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the member data. data and we're gonna uh, once again select the command offer for the data name we're gonna put in account number this is the number uh, the data name that's gonna hold the generated account number for uh, members of the server and we're gonna put in greater than and we're gonna put zero is the value to compare and if true we're gonna skip next actions and if false we're gonna continue the actions uh, all right so let's go here click create action we'll go jump back to that as we still haven't uh, included a action here more than likely it'll be about five five actions uh, we could always go back and change it if it's incorrect, but for now let's put five and um, click on create once more. And we're gonna select the uh, control member data. For the control, uh, for the member, we're gonna select the command offer once again. And if you notice, uh, for the first one, for the store member data, we store the data name as money. Now, technically, this could be anything. It could be crystals. Uh, it could be dollars. It could be pennies. It could be Taco Bells. It could be whatever you want to act or name as the currency. Um, or you got to be aware is that if you're adding money um, or a form of currency or subtracting a form of currency, uh, you make sure that the uh, control, when you're controlling the data for it, 
that is always the same name. So if it's Taco Bell, so if you want to control how many Taco Bells you have later on, you would control the member data and the data name that you would control it is the Taco Bells. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this back to money. We're going to leave it at zero. And for going back to the control member data, we're going to put the data name as money once more. And we're going to set the value this time. Instead of uh, add value, we're going to set it at 500. And click on edit action. Now that we have money in our account, this pretty much adds the funds into the current balance. So moving on, what we're going to do is, um, as you notice our second action, we have an account number data name greater than, and we're going to check it. And if, it's, if the account number is equal to zero, it's going to, uh, is um, greater than zero, it's going to skip the following steps. And if it's false, it's going to continue the actions, which is going to generate a, an account number for the user. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and click on create for action number four. We're going to click on send message and scroll down to other stuff. Scroll down to generate random number. And for the minimum range, we're going to select one. And for the maximum range, it can be, uh, let's put it at 99. There we go. Um, well, yeah, that's good enough for an account number. And for the store and temporary, we're going to name that as account number or num. And click on create action. Okay, so uh, we're going to click on, actually we can click on the control member data and clone that action. We're going to push that down to the, to the bottom and let's open that up. And we're going to, being that it's already selected as command offer, we're going to change the data number to the account number data name, uh, which is where we want to store the generated number that we just created here. So the account number, which we checked here, if it's uh, greater than zero, it's going to skip all these. And if it's not greater than zero or equals to zero, it's going to go ahead and generate the number as well as, uh, you know, set the, um, and set the account number that it generated. So for the set, for the control type, we're going to leave it as set value. And for the value, we're going to insert, insert in the insert temporary account number, which is the one we just generated. And click on edit action. Okay, and we can click on create. And for send message, we can leave it at the same channel. And here, we can right click and put the current balance. And we can put here current balance. And down here we can put account number. And click on create action. We can throw in an end sequence in there to make sure that it doesn't continue after sending this message. And the final step is to put a message that if it does skips the account generation, it just shows the current balance. So if the user doesn't have an account number already, 
it will generate one for them and if they do have an account number then it will just display the current balance and we can put here your current balance and click create action alright so it looks like we're done uh, with, as far as setting up what our money uh, what controls our money and the account number and we can go ahead and give this a try and let's save that let's go here and we'll type in balance and see what we get DBM game debt group said current okay. balance so grave accent zero, zero grave accent account, account number, number. Grave accent two hundred forty thousand two hundred ninety five. So grave accent the account number, and I do have the text of speech enabled here. Um, so what we can do is uh, one place. Let's go here real quick, and we can put uh, text to speech. We'll go to and escape. Alright, so hopefully that shut off the text to speech. I use it for texting, uh, for uh, you know, assisting with troubleshooting as it reads back the commands. I don't know, I kind of like it. But uh, getting back, we should have a balance. Um, there's one thing we did forget. Um, let's go here and what we're gonna do is uh, let's just make sure everything is correct let's say that. so if it's true we're gonna skip one two three four five so okay that's good and here this one thing we if we notice here uh, if you notice the current balance is zero that is because we didn't store we stored it here but it ended the action here so when it's displaying this here what we could have done uh, was store it after we controlled it here it's still going to hold this variable which, which is uh, zero uh, which we set at zero but what thing that we could do to fix that real quick is just click on this click on clone action and push that down under to there or you can put it right underneath here it doesn't matter as long as somewhere underneath after the control member data because we changed that data from 0 to 500 being that if we ran the command and this isn't true it's going to show it still at 0 onto this actually ran so if we ran that command again we should get 500 at the current balance Unless I spelled something wrong here, but it looks correct. Oh, I know what it is. Being that we added the command, we never actually typed it up here. So uh, let's go here. We're going to go to 6. Because we added the stored member command. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it should go to seven. So let's go ahead and this should now give us the balance. Uh, if I would save it. <laughs>
49 feet left said nice trick. I need to watch more of your YouTube for sure. DBM Game Dev Group said your current balance. So 500. Question, the current balance is uh, 500. And that pretty much uh, another thing we can do here is add that account number. And we can put here, and let's put balance. We save it? No, we didn't. I've been messing up with that today, but let's go ahead and save that. And I spelled balance wrong. We'll give it a moment here. DPM Game Dev Group said your current balance 500 account num undefined. Okay, so it looks like we are running into a few bugs here. Let's just do one more thing here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's copy this uh, store number data. Where are you? And we're gonna push it underneath the end. And we're gonna change this. To account number and we'll put account number open this up we'll change this temporary rule into account number that we just created click save and run and let's try this once more DPM Game Dev Group said your current balance and there we go. 500 so, account num um, 240,295. Uh, bugs that kind of showed us a few things. At least we got an idea of the way uh, it works and how we can fix it if something kind of pops up that you kind of forget. Um, as you can see, the current balance was originally zero and the account number that we generated. And you can see down here the same account number and the 500 that we added. So uh, being that that is uh, created, let's go ahead and create the next step of our shop.